he be a pirate shave today on Barber Dave Shaves and Such and the Crosby Conundrum. We be right back. Barber Dave here with a shave of the pirates. And this was another challenge from the Crosby Conundrum. Say hello to Barnacle. We call him Barney. He is our pet octoghost. Uh, he also is a chew toy for the dog. And I'm being stared at by him right now because he's not happy about it. But this came across because me friends, Nurse Dave and Haysai, a.k.a. Stephen Crosby, are out cruising the Caribbean. And we are looking for them to take care of their well, I don't want to say take care of their booty because uh, they're kind of weird that way. So we won't go there. Uh, let's just say treasure, shall we? Anyways, I was challenged to do a shave that would extude the virtues of them being on the luxury cruise ships while we're dealing with scurvy. So let's get the shave started today. Today, we're going to be shaving with West Indies lime. That's right. We stole a bunch of limes and had Rod make some shave soap in Arkansas for us. Why Arkansas and pirates make a difference, ye don't know. But it's fun anyway, don't you think? For the razor today, this razor has been renamed the Pirate for today. It's a Jerry Stark 6 8 It used to be called the Viking, but that would be kind of stupid for today. It's been honed 30 and 60 on linen and leather and another 15 and 30 on a convex hone. For our brush today, we're going to be using the Sorrentino TSC Anniversary, which looks kind of like lime. And then we'll go over the other stuff. However, I did tell you earlier that we were dealing with a little bit of scurvy and we're going to be shaving. So this is also going to be a stunt shave for you today. And that's simply because I'm blind without my glasses and now I'm shaving with one eye. This shall be fun, shall ye? But dealing with the scurvy, it has a tendency to make your mustaches fall off. But I had to use it for the pirate. So let's get started, shall we? We are going to attempt to stay in pirate voice. Arr, and also try to shave with one eye. And I can't see where the damn. We need to thank Avocado Queen today for making this eye patch. So we certainly hope that Nurse Dave, and I even wore an earring for the occasion. We certainly hope that uh, Nurse Dave and Haysai will be watching this and knowing that it is a tribute for them. And if I cut myself, I will hunt them down and their booty is the one thing they will have to worry about. This is very interesting being shaving with one eye. As we all know, sterling soaps are wonderful. We thank Rod and Mandy for that. Okay, let's see how bad this goes. I am definitely using muscle memory because I have no depth perception. I'm not going to cheat. So we hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful, blessed Sunday. So this is living proof that you can shave with just one eye. However, the earring dangling, that is making it very interesting around the ear. So
So ye hope that Stephen is happy for his challenge today. By the trade winds of the Caribbean, the first pass went well. Although it looks like we may have to wash ye, wash ye eye patch. As well as the earring. So what do you say, Barnacle? Do you like the way the shave is going? He doesn't talk much. I, I must say it is very interesting to be shaving with one eye. But it is possible. This is interesting because I have no idea where my touchdown point is. Also, it must be said that as the captain of the Barber Dave's galleon, everyone must have a clean shave. And we are known all around the Eastern Caribbean and the islands of Tortuga and Tortola, Aruba. We are known as the cleanest shaven pirates in all of the Caribbean. Davy Jones's locker is shining upon us again with a good second pass. With this soap, you can smell the lime and you can feel the trade winds of the Caribbean blowing in the palm trees. So while Nurse Dave and Mr. Crosby are living it up on the cruise ship, drinking Mai Tais, getting sunburned, and eating way too much food, we are out suffering in the hot sun. That was interesting. I didn't even know where I touched down at. Barney, you need to warn me when crap like that happens. What also you'd be interested in seeing is the fact that this has not got a muted point.
So when you be shaving with that point and not knowing where it's going to touch down, it'd be very interesting. And Barnacle seems to be no help. The other odd thing about this shave is having a dog staring at you, saying he wants his chew toy back. As you said earlier, this is mostly shaving on muscle memory. So far, it seems to be smooth sailing. It looks as if the dolphins are screaming as we have a very nice DSBBS shave. A little bit of cleanup, which should be interesting. Okay, let's see how we did, shall ye? Looks like she'd be a good shave today. And I really hope you Crosby and your nurse Dave really appreciate what I did for you. Now you see what, what the alum says. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So again, me apologies that Barnacle wasn't too talkative today. So the brush today was the Sorrentino TSC anniversary brush with a badger knot, I believe. For the razor today, going back to becoming the Viking, but for today, it is the Jerry Stark 6 eights, the pirate with chain link Damascus. The soap today was one of Rod and Mandy's West Indies Lime.
Ah, oh, what a tremendous shame. There is no doubt whatsoever that of all the pirates that are sailing the Caribbean, Barbara Dave, dread pirate Barbara Dave, is the cleanest shaven. Or the witch hazel today, we're going to add a little bit of the British. We stole this from the West Indies uh, Trading Company. That's right, Fair's Lemon. Now you know why I don't wear an earring anymore. It gets in the way. For aftershave today, we're going to be using Sterling West Indies Lime. I can't see that, but hopefully the label is facing forward. Har, har, har. Ah, oh, such a wonderful scent of lime. Now, I do have to ask... Where's the rum? Being the gentlemanly pirate that we are, the last time we sailed up the Marseille River to France, we stole some talc. It would be cool to say that it is the ground up bones of our captors, but that would be gross. Why not a little bit of powder on the, on the eye patch? And for our cologne today is one that we don't use too often, but to me, it's one of the finest bay rums and it's from the Caribbean because unfortunately Dominica is no longer made. So Ogallala, this is bay rum, lime and peppercorns. Now ye smells like a pirate. Well, we thank you so much for joining us today on Barber Dave Shaves and Such and the Crosby Conundrum as we do a pirate shave as requested. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <coughs> this voice is hard to do. And see you again tomorrow. <laughs>